Hello everyone, this is Tyler coming to you from THJ Coffee. All of us have days where we just don't have a lot of time and we have to use our instant coffee supply. Now, often people, they don't like instant coffee a lot for the common things such as, or common complaints such as bitterness, uh, chalkiness and, and texture, and um, just not the same freshness that a, um, a fresh brewed cup of coffee would have. Now, there's ways on, on how to make an instant cup of coffee taste much better. Now, first, um, what I'm going to um, do today is explain to everyone seven excellent hacks that I use and I know other people um, use these same things to um, enhance the flavor and just the overall taste of the coffee. Okay, firstly, um, use cold brewed water before putting hot water into instant coffee. So you all you have to do is take an ounce or two ounces and pour it into the um, cup of instant coffee before then putting in the hot water. Now, this is, um, I'm not going to go into the science of this, but what it does is it basically um, breaks down the, the bitterness in, in the compounds and it um, reduces the acidity of the, of the coffee. Okay, so that, that's the first thing that you can do and that in itself will, would change um, most instant coffee flavors immediately. Okay, so um, if um, if it still isn't like um, sufficient to your taste, um, the seven other hacks that you can use are very effective and things that I myself use often. Okay, so the first is cocoa powder. Um, cocoa powder obviously is like chocolate. Everyone loves chocolate. So all you have to do here is take a tablespoon or two tablespoons of cocoa powder and either put it in before or after you put in the water or milk into the instant coffee. And this will immediately produce kind of like a mocha effect. So it's like your own homemade mocha um, with instant coffee. Um, it's, it's a great way to um, in, just make it taste better. Um, Ghirardelli is, is the best here, but you can also use Nestle or any of the other major um, chocolate brands. The second thing is to use some butter. Now, this is probably the weirdest sounding hack out there as butter would seem to most people to have no connection with coffee. But rest be assured, butter is actually a phenomenal way to help um, with this instant coffee flavor. And why is because butter, unlike coffee, is low in acidity. It's um, it's like a dairy, so it actually provides a great base for um, reducing the acidity and also enhancing the creaminess of the taste. So here, um, you just take a little, like maybe less than a tablespoon, um, and just put it in before you pour in the water or milk. Um, in this scenario, it's, it's better to use um, milk or cream for the um, this process, but water works also just fine. Now, the other thing too is don't use salted butter, use unsalted because this may over um, it, it, it may overpower the, the taste of the coffee a bit. Now, the next thing is um, one that I think most people know, but don't necessarily use and that's um, use some cinnamon. Cinnamon is great with tea, it's great with coffee, um, it, it's great with just about anything that, that might be sweet. And um, even though it's a little spicy, um, the key thing here is just making sure that you put it in before you pour in the water or milk. Because um, if you do it after, um, you should use less because that's where usually the bitterness comes from if the cinnamon is not being cooked into the coffee. Okay, so the next thing is blend with ice and milk. And here we have basically our homemade frappuccinos because um, all you have to do here um, is take a blender, um, use ice, use milk, um, use instant coffee, 
maybe use some other sweetener. Um, you can bind it um, and just blend it. And you'll have like essentially your own frappuccino. Um, th this is actually um, with better quality instant coffees. If one were to try this method, I would argue and say that many people would not be able to tell the difference between a Starbucks frappuccino and an instant coffee frappuccino made with good quality instant coffee. The next one is um, may, may seem a bit unusual, and this can only be done for people over the age of 21 or over the age of 18 in other countries, which is put some liquor in, like Bailey's or whatever, and th this will kind of add kind of an extra zest here. Um, usually you should like blend it or something. Use a blender because um, it usually won't um, make it very well if it's if it hasn't been um, stir stirred in. And um, you don't need to use a lot. Maybe up to like at the very most a shot, but probably just tablespoons because you you just want the the extra flavor here, not the alcohol to overpower the flavor of the coffee. Uh, the next thing is uh, froth and milk. Now. Many people think you need like a fancy coffee machine to utilize this method. That is not so. Froth and milk you can simply produce. There's homemade froth and um, milk uh, tools um, that are about 20 bucks, and you basically just take the t um, this tool and you um, put the um, milk in some kind of container, and you it base you just um, th this um, hand device will froth the milk and then you take the milk which is becomes somewhat of a um it it becomes a little hardened not hardened but um just a little thicker and then you can add that to the coffee and froth the milk is actually what many of the big coffee chains like starbucks or dunkin donuts what they put in a lot of their coffees lattes cappuccinos like there's so many like um coffee chains that use froth and milk and this is often, I think, what um, one of the experiences that people will enjoy, like about coffee shops. Now, the last thing is just use an alternative sweetener. Don't use white sugar. Use honey. Use maple syrup. There's many great sweeteners out there that you can try out and um, that that are much like tastier and healthier for you. So, these are seven great hacks to utilize. And I encourage you guys to try at least one of these. Thank you.